Okay, Daryl, glad you're in range and uh, uh, glad you're uh, going to be able to, uh, to catch the net tonight. All right, very good. We'll start in about another 11 minutes. This is Kate Zero VH in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. Still going up in the fire stone at 119 to 25. We got one. I'm sure it'll be back up to four bucks tomorrow, and then they'll drop it back down to like two pins. Yeah, probably so, Daryl. Probably so. All right, I got a few other things to get ready here, and uh, man, I'm glad you're uh, in the area. Are you headed home real quick? Okay, buddy, well, drive carefully, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, catch you uh, here on the radio as uh, time goes on. All right, Daryl, uh, talk to you in a little bit. K0VH, Wheat Ridge, Colorado, uh, getting ready for the net tonight at 7 o'clock Mountain Time.
Hey, cat, just saying hello. K zero, use it. Well, good evening. I'll go ahead and log you in tonight. Oh, excellent. Thank you for that. The traffic jam. Which will be at least one for the day. Holy cow. What a day. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say hi. J Zero you then. Okay, and once again, everybody, good evening. This is Jack, K0VH, five minutes before 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the east, and uh, we will be beginning the Skyhub Link Monday Night System-Wide Net uh, here in just a few minutes at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 9 o'clock Eastern, and we are streaming on YouTube. Uh, we sent that out in an email earlier today, and uh, if you uh, did not get that email, you can go to the Nets page at skyhublink.com and click on the link under the Monday Night Net section, and that'll take you to the live YouTube stream. This is KE0VH. Good evening.
All right, and good evening, everyone. It's, uh, well, what about, well, I don't know, 20 seconds before 7 o'clock. Good evening. Welcome to the Sky of Blink Monday Night System Wide Net. This is Jack, KT0VH in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. I am your net control station tonight. And I want to say hello to all of y'all watching on YouTube tonight. Really appreciate that. We're going to do a demonstration tonight of the WinLink ham radio email system. So uh, we'll talk about that some more in just a few minutes. But to welcome to the Sky of Link system wide Monday night net. We do have this net here every Monday night to discuss amateur radio and other interesting topics. Sky of Link is not a closed system in any way. We welcome any and all users in the true spirit of amateur radio. Please remember during all use of this multi mode linking system, allow three and a half seconds, or three to five seconds, I should say, between transmissions. Allow it 1.5 seconds for key up and then begin speaking. Also, Remember to keep that PTT push to half second or so after your last word. When more than two people are using the repeaters, please do set up a rotation so that you won't be doubling over the other parties in the round table. Remember you're on many repeaters and modes simultaneously, and good amateur operating practice is remembering that others might need to use one of the many repeaters on the system during your QSO or join in your topic they might like to do. Uh, let me reset. We need to do that every so often to give the repeaters a chance to take a breath and uh, uh, reset there. This is KE0VH. Good evening. All right. It's extremely important to remember, too, that if you're operating a hotspot on Skyhub Link and when you're in the YSF mode, that you do not enable the Wires X pass-through feature. Do not operate your radio in Wires X mode to change reflectors. When you're connected to Skyablink, do use the web interface of your Pi Star or Hotspot, though, to change reflectors. The web interface. If you operate with YSF pass through and control the Pi Star with your radio while on the US Skyablink reflector 92722, then it can cause disconnects and link issues. Please do not use this feature of your Hotspot when connected to Skyablink. We also ask that you do not kerchunk a repeater to test to see if you're keying it up. Please do come on and verbally ask for a radio check. And I note that a lot of folks are doing that. And we really appreciate that. For chunking the system can cause link issues and is really illegal as it's an unidentified radio transmission. Once again, to see if you're making the repeater actually come on and ask for that radio check. Somebody somewhere will probably answer you. And please do, if you're monitoring the system and you hear someone ask for that radio check, be sure to respond. Once again, let me break for a reset. This is Kate Zero VH. Yeah, by the way, uh, I do notice that there's a little bit of latency there in YouTube. So um, uh, if you monitor uh, by YouTube, that's all right as well. I am going to take check ins uh, by radio. And we uh, will also take check-ins in the AIM, the almost instant message window. Kat said she would do that tonight. And I'm going to go by Kat's list entirely for check-ins. I will write down the ones that come over the radio just so we can cross-reference. Uh, but uh, we will uh, indeed uh, take your check-ins tonight via the AIM window if you would like. And then I'll try to come back to everybody through the roundtable discussion part, which will be about... Uh, ham radio, digital email, or uh, some of the other digital modes. We'll talk about that tonight. Let me reset, and uh, then let's talk about safety and assistance in communication. All right. Remember, Skyhub Link is here for safety and assistance for any communications needs, including emergencies. If you hear someone call for assistance or emergency help on a Skyhub Link repeater, you can dial your local 911 number and report that you're an amateur radio operator and you just received an emergency call. Give them the details, and then they'll contact the appropriate agency in the appropriate area. Also, if someone needs to reach out for any kind of help, whether it's a flat tire or whatever the case may be, Let's sure that if they call out on Skyhub Link that they receive the assistance needed. Is there any emergency traffic at this time? This is K0VH. Okay, yeah, I got a phone call in the middle of that. This is a controlled net. I almost check in to be recognized by NCS. We'll take a few check-ins and then do a roundtable of that list. Then we'll take another check-in list. 
Repeater owners and system operators, uh, we will – actually, we're going to forego this tonight because I see that we've got a lot coming uh, in uh, via the NetLogger application. So uh, I'm going to forego uh, this tonight. By the way, when you do check in on the radio, please say only your call sign phonetically twice. And by the way, if you're listening on the analog 449-450 repeater, remember it disconnects at about 825 for the Rocky Mountain Radio League Club Net. You can now listen in the Denver metro area on 447.050, 447050. PL tone is 103.5, and that will be available to you here in the immediate city after 449.450 disconnects. This is KE0VH. Uh, Stand by here just a moment. All right, then. Uh, We're going to go ahead and give you some net announcements tonight to start off with. Uh, Don't forget, uh, by the way, we do have all of the board members up on the skyoflink.com join contact tab. And you can contact any one of us members of the Skyhublink board. Remember, Skyhublink is a 501c3 uh, organization. And uh, that is, uh, is something that we've uh, actually been uh, trying to do for quite some time, and we finally got there. And uh, so many of you have been generous to Skyhub Link and helping us out with certain projects and so on and so forth. So we want to make sure that uh, we can take care of you and your donations in that way. More information uh, is on the uh, webpage, of course. And uh, the board members, once again, Uh, You can contact any of us uh, via email. If you click on our call sign there on the Join Contact page, it will take you to our qrz.com webpage, and you can uh, find our email address. want to welcome Gary, November Charlie 2, Whiskey X-Ray, NC2WX. Gary Meyer down in Pueblo is our latest board member, along with uh, all the other folks that we've had helping out with Sky of Links. So we really appreciate uh, all of those people who help make all the background stuff on Skyhub Link possible. Uh, don't forget, uh, well, let me reset, and then I'll tell you about the Boulder Repeater, in case you didn't know. Okay, so once again, the new Boulder Repeater is up uh, just on the northeast side of the city, and we're really super happy with his coverage from about North Golden there up Highway 93 all the way up to Lyons and further along up the uh, the side there of the uh, the front range. Uh, Longmont, Loveland, uh, we've got some folks in there. And, of course, down in the Boulder Hole, I drove through there the other day and was really pleased uh, at how well it covered down in the city and the university and all of that down along the uh, Pearl Street Mall. Uh, So uh, Boulder is now covered by a Skyhub Link repeater on 447.175, 447.175. The new uh, Pueblo Wires X repeater is in the works. We're looking forward to that. Uh, Hopefully here by the end of April, uh, we'll see how it all goes and how it all goes together. But I want to thank the Pueblo Amateur Radio Club down there for uh, being very helpful in uh, helping us get another Internet connection up to our a current analog repeater up there on Baculite Mesa. Uh, as a matter of fact, Skyler, myself, and Burnus, a, a KI0AR, are going to be working on that this coming Saturday. So listen for more details uh, coming up here uh, pretty quick. Everybody stand by one while I do another uh, recycle. This is KE0VH. All right, then. So tonight's next question, when I get to the roundtable, it looks like we've already got about 25 check-ins coming through the uh, almost instant message window. Uh, I'll go ahead and recognize those real quick. Of course, we have uh, Cat, W0KPH, uh, Daryl, W3ORR, Mike in Montrose. Mike, how are you? K0Victor, Bravo, Quebec. KF0, uh, KF0KIG, uh, November Bravo 9 Delta, K0UZ, our uh, other alternate Monday night net control, uh, Ken is there, KI0AR, Bernice, uh, good to have you tonight, and thanks for your help this upcoming uh, Saturday, uh, KK0TX, Kilo Echo 8, Tango Lima Golf, uh, Mike Mike 1, Delta Echo Alpha, Graham in uh, Glasgow, Scotland, uh, Graham, we're glad to have you up there, Lottie. Uh, KD9GHO, hello, Stu in uh, Chicago, K5TPK, Tom in Salina, Texas, 
Uh, KN4FRK, AE7RJ, Randall, good evening, AE0NO and AE0NB. Uh, K0TPW, Joe down in the Springs, W0ZZS, Harold in Pueblo. Uh, K1LJY, Tony in Colorado Springs, uh, ZL2, Bravo, Echo, Zulu, Paul down in Wellington. And let's see, KF0JTT, Lisa in Montrose as well. Lisa, thanks for being here tonight, KE0QJP. And uh, finally, K6SKI. Hi, Brian, our uh, other net control for the uh, uh, the uh, daily weather net here on the Sky of Link. Let me reset, and uh, we're going to start our presentation tonight after I take one round of radio check-ins. So uh, stand by one. All right, and uh, I do realize that last week uh, that uh, we had some repeaters timing out because I was going on a little bit too long. All of the Skyhub Link repeaters at minimum have a three-minute timeout timer on them, so we always need to remember that uh, when we're operating. So one thing that uh, I thought might be interesting for us all to uh, have a look at tonight was the WinLink email system. I don't know if you've ever had the opportunity to uh, do the uh, uh, WinLink over-the-air email, but it's really quite fascinating and really quite uh, easy to do. Uh, there's uh, a lot of different options with it that you can take a look at, and uh, I've been doing that here for, uh, uh, I don't know, two or three years. Uh, I'm going to have all of you that have the opportunity to email, uh, email me at my winlink.org email address. So it's simply ke0vh at winlink.org. And in a few minutes, uh, I'm going to retrieve those emails. So all of you who have the opportunity, send me a short note, uh, whatever the case may be, to ke0vh at winlink.org. And in just a few moments, I'll uh, pull down those uh, emails by going through the 145.050 tel, uh, or not telnet, but uh, email client uh, repeater here in Denver. And uh, we'll show you how that works. I'll show you the software tonight. Once again, let me reset. This is ke0vh. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, uh, I have a Yezu FT991 here, and it is connected by USB cable to the, uh, to the computer. And, of course, the uh, FT991 has an onboard USB card. Uh, there's a lot of transceivers out there that do not. Of course, you can use um, uh, an interface like a signal link or um, oh, a rig blaster. That's what I was trying to think of. I didn't pull those websites up here on the YouTube stream, but those are available, and you can take a look at that. But uh, you've got to have some interface software, uh, or you've got to have those interface units. And uh, I'll go ahead and bring up this uh, picture here, and then we're going to change over to the uh, UZ7HO packet software interface page. And this is where you will get the uh, UZ7HO sound modem. And it looks like this on your screen, and I'm going to show you on my screen as I pull it up here in just a moment. Uh, but this acts as your modem between the audio you're pulling off the radio and your computer so that you can see the emails that may come down. Once again, those of you who can, email me real quick, ke0vh at winlink, W-I-N-L-I-N-K dot O-R-G. And uh, I'll show you how that works here through the uh, 991A, which you can see right up here. It's interfaced into the uh, into the computer, of course. And I'll start that software up, and we'll pull down some emails in just a minute. So this is your sound modem software, and uh, I'm going to show you the setup for that here in just a moment. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, it's on this page that I just pulled up on the YouTube stream. And you download the software. This page tells you anything and everything and how to do it, which is uh, really, really good because uh, it can be a little complicated if you don't have these pictorial instructions there. So once again, you get your radio set up the way it would need to be. Follow your manufacturer's instructions on that. There's some settings in the uh, FT991 that you have to follow to get everything to communicate right. There's plenty of YouTube videos, as always, on all of that. And uh, let me do another reset here. This is KE0VH with the Sky of Link Monday Night System Wide Net.
Okay, so once again, we are streaming this live on YouTube. It's being streamed live on YouTube. And if you go to the Nets page at skyhublink.com and uh, use the uh, go down to the uh, Monday Night Net, and you'll see the link that I have provided there for you to be able to check into uh, the YouTube stream on the system here. And I'm uh, watching about three screens. That's the one I wanted. Uh, I see that it says 28 people are watching right now. So uh, if you would, guys, uh, smash that thumbs up button there uh, on the screen. All 28 of you. That would be really, uh, really cool if you would do that for me. So uh, remember, there is a little bit of latency. So if you're listening on the radio, you're watching on the YouTube stream, there's going to be a a little bit of uh, difference in timing there. But uh, let me go ahead and pull up the, uh, the software here real quick on my computer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my desktop uh, that I have here and I will start up the uh, sound modem software see down here is I've got it in the lower right hand part of the screen so we'll bring that up and then I'll go ahead and start up the WinLink Express software. Now I'm going to have to do something with the radio to be able to uh, to use the FT-991, which, of course, is uh, what I'm doing the net with. So I'm going to grab the handheld in just a minute, get that, and uh, then we'll uh, we'll make these guys talk. And I'll be talking to you over the radio because I have to change the frequency of the FT-991 uh, over to the packet frequency, the wind link frequency. So everybody stand by one while I do a couple of things here in the uh, shack. Hi, Jack. Didn't want to jump in there on you, but I did try to send an email to you there at the KE0VH at winlink.org, and it kicked back to me saying, unable to deliver. Huh. Very interesting. Well, did I get that wrong? Is it winlink.com? Let me uh, see if uh, did I tell you guys the wrong thing. Well, that's ooh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, never mind. Uh, let's see. I thought it would be in uh, the uh, this. And, uh, we'll we'll see if that comes. Take care. winlink 2000com I guess I should have. <laughs> I guess I should have uh, uh, tried this, uh, Daryl, before. Let me uh, let me do a reset here. Everybody, stand by. A zero V H. Winlink.org. Yeah, I thought that's what I did. Okay, so uh, let me... actually, how about this? BMR radio. Fire that up because I have to change the frequency on the FT991. So everybody, stand by. k 0 h Okay, so we'll come over are here. So the frequency there is 145.050. So I'm going to go ahead, and uh, I've already got the software all uh, integrated. So I'm going to go ahead and open a packet wind link session. So I'll open that there, and uh, you see the, init- the initialization is complete. It came up. I'm going to go ahead. I, I can't really show you the... Uh, FT-991 any more than this at the moment because uh, uh, the camera angle is wrong. This is, you know, this is all an ongoing experiment, guys, with this uh, stream. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to try to uh, make that happen a little bit better as well. Uh, but uh, hang on. I'm going to go ahead and start this and uh, see if we can grab something. Those tones you hear is the packet system uh, talking to the repeater. (laughs) Well, maybe it's not going to quite work.
Okay. That did not quite work. Well, how about that? Uh, let's see. Let me let me try this again just uh, through the speaker. I did this earlier today, and it worked just fine. Not sure what's going on here. Okay, that's on, and that's on. So, uh, oh, I know what it is. Hang on just a minute. Well, what do you do? Um, okay, there we go. Well, what do you do? <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, not really. Uh, not really sure. Um, uh, sure, what the uh, the deal was there. It worked earlier today. Something in my routing must not be right here. So, uh, anyway, what would happen is that it would connect to this K zero NTS dash ten gateway, and then it would, uh, of course. Uh, uh, pull down the emails. And as you can see here on your screen on YouTube, I pulled down some emails uh, prior, but I'm not real sure why it didn't work for me that time. I was uh, getting into the gateway and doing everything correctly before. Let's see. Oh, maybe that's the reason. All right. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's try something else here again. Everybody stand by. I'm going <laughs> to make this work. Isn't it fun? It's like my rocket launch in junior high school. The uh, the battery failed and the rockets didn't launch. So uh, let me let me try one more thing here. Everybody stand by. A zero VH. Well, all right then. It didn't work. <laughs> I, I really don't know what happened because I had it working earlier. So uh, something in my uh, my routing must be off. So I may have to try this again, guys. Uh, sorry about that. As you can see, it uh, uh, tried to uh, get into the modem there, but I'm just what uh, is going on with it. Of course, you know, you know, we could uh, we could be real brave here and go ahead and try one more time. See, I was transmitting. But for some reason or another, it wasn't talking. So I'm going to try to restart the software. We're going to give this one more go. I'd like to see those uh, emails uh, that uh, came from you guys. And we'll, uh, we'll see if it works. <laughs> well, you know, uh, they talked about live television and live radio a while back. Uh, I swear this worked earlier today. But uh, for some reason, uh, it's... Uh, not right now. So let's go ahead and try it one more time. I'm brave. K zero VH. Okay, well, I see the problem. I'm just not sure how to correct it right now. It's telling me the KISS port is busy. I bet I have gotten a configuration uh, out of whack here in the uh, the sound modem 
uh, software. And that's part of uh, what I was going to show everybody here in, uh, in just a moment. Okay, let me uh, key the radio back in. Uh, that is um, a part of what I was going to show everybody here in a moment. I'm pretty sure that uh, one of my settings must have, uh, have gotten out. And yeah, you know what? There it is. There it is right there. Those of you watching on YouTube. All right, now we're going to make this thing work. I'm going to change this to the correct audio codec, which in my case is the USB audio codec coming from the radio. Uh, Garen, doggone to you to work this time. Uh, well, I hope so anyway. We're going to go ahead and give it one more shot, guys. Thanks uh, for being patient with me here. And I did not see the uh, KISS uh, deal go uh, wrong there. Oh, yep, it sure did. It sure did. Huh. All right, I'm going to give it another try anyway. Stand by. This is Kate Zero vh Aren't we having fun? Hey, there we go on YouTube. It's connected. How about that? All right, and we'll let it disconnect. Okay, sorry for you guys on the radio. You didn't get to hear that, but it actually worked. How about that? <laughs> I got a bunch of emails from you guys. I appreciate that. You see all the data, if you're watching on YouTube, that uh, came up in the window there. So now we'll go ahead and uh, close this out, and uh, you'll see that, uh, let's see, uh, KB9CBL just uh, sent me uh, an email there, and uh, there was some other stuff that had popped up in there, but that's the only one that's showing up in the email window. Uh, there you go, Ray in Minicoca, Wisconsin. Okay, got you in there, Ray. And uh, if you, uh, Cat, want to log, uh, Ray in is coming in through Windlink, unless we already have him. Kilo Bravo 9, Charlie Bravo Lima. Uh, I closed the other screen too quickly because I'm not sure uh, about the other data that was in there. But anyway, there you go. You see that it works, and, uh, you know, it, it, it took a little effort, but uh, we made it work there. And I'm wondering if any of you guys tonight are experimenting with this at all. Uh, so uh, if you're experimenting with uh, WinLink or playing with it or have been sending email with it or sending over HF, uh, go ahead and uh, give me your call sign phonetically twice. I'd like to hear from you tonight. This is KE0VH with the Sky of Link Monday Night System-Wide Net. M1 KJ, M1 UKJ. Okay, very good, M1 UKJ. How you doing there, Dan? Uh, yeah, have you been experimenting uh, with the uh, the Windling Cam Radio email here at all? Go ahead, Dan. Uh, in one UKJ, I heard another station in there, but your audio was really raspy and very difficult to copy. Uh, in one UKJ, Dan, go ahead. Uh, good evening, Jack. Yeah, I hope this is better. I'll switch over to the other radio otherwise. Um, yeah, I actually um, installed uh, WinLink today. And um, I couldn't get it to work quite well with my 991 Yezu, uh, but I watched a video on a guy that uh, programmed it, and with some effort after, uh, oh, it took me quite a while, I'd say a couple hours, um, I was able to send uh, a uh, email to myself. Um, but I did not realize that they have a whitelist, which uh, prevents uh, inbound traffic. So 
Uh, I'm late to the net, so you might have already covered that. Uh, you know, Dan, I'm unaware of that. That uh, that would be something that uh, that I would have to look up there. I've been using, like I said, I've been using this for a while. I generally check that email once about a week, every week or so, because if you do not uh, put your uh, email, uh, uh, your connection through it with your call sign, you do get dropped off the uh, WinLink roster after a year or two of uh, uh, unused. So I, I, I weekly, every couple of weeks maybe, Try to uh, at least check that email. I don't really use it a lot, but uh, I wanted to uh, show it to folks tonight. Anybody else got any experience uh, with the WinLink email system? And you'd like to uh, tell us about some of your adventures with it. Uh, go ahead and give me that call sign twice. This is K0VH. Hello, Dan. Uh, Bill, good evening. Whiskey Zero Hotel Golf. I also see a K5 TPK coming in there too. So I'll come to you. Uh, I'll come to you next, Tom, down in Salina, Texas. But uh, yeah, go ahead, Bill. W0HG from K0VH. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Ironic. I'm just typing in about white list. Commenter made. Reference to it. I posted a. You can. It's real easy. You just log in on their. Go to your whitelist. Anybody you'd like to receive emails from can add to that white. If you send in link email to their automatic. The uh, link to that whitelisting is on the game window. I'm not sure if you're running. Cat wants to on the to section she can do. In any event, good presentation. Be zero. <laughs> well, I tell you, I tell you, Bill, it'd been a good presentation if it uh, had worked the first time. But you know, that happened to me actually the other day. Um, I uh, I had noticed that it wasn't connecting for whatever reason, and sure enough, it. Um, uh, was uh, the sound card had not initialized right or had uninitialized. And I've been fooling around with a lot of settings here in the uh, computer. So uh, that was uh, definitely uh, part of it. You know, I uh, ah, I forgot my call sign uh, or, or my uh, password for the WinLink account. I was going to try to follow you along and look at it. So hopefully it's got my correct, uh, correct email address, k0vh at outlook.com. Uh, Kat, yeah, if you want to go ahead and, and put that, um, uh, you, you said, uh, you said, Bill, you put it in the aim window. I'm going to try to pull that up here as well. And, uh, yeah, I see it, uh, winlink.org content whitelist manager. So I'm going to click on that and see if it'll bring it up. Uh, access denied. Well, yeah. We'll give that a shot here in a little bit. Bill, thanks for that. Uh, let's see, K5TPK. Uh, Tom, did you have a comment there? I saw I saw you pop in. K5TPK from K0VH. Good evening. K5TPK, Tom and Salina. Hello, Jack. Good evening. And, uh, I just, was just going to comment that I participated. Uh, pretty much every win. Hey, Jeff Packett, uh, and MCOM out of California, out of California. And I believe it was in Kentucky as a win. Had very good. That said, I have tried to, I purchased and tried to borrow and borrow FM. Those that I ninety. I haven't figured out. Anyway, great net, great presentation. Go five tango Papa Kibo. Back to net. 
Okay, Tom, well, you were way too kind. I wish it had worked right the first time. And uh, I will do this again with the HF side of setting it up. I used to be set up for HF uh, WinLink and uh, would regularly be able to uh, ping the email server through uh, a station over in Utah, I think in Vernal, Utah, if I recall correctly, from here in the Denver metro area. So uh, that'll be something to uh, to get running and to sign uh, as uh, time goes on. Uh, I want to show you guys where I had those of you watching uh, YouTube. Don't forget to smash that likes, uh, that thumbs up button for me. I appreciate it. Uh, but uh, I'll pull this up on the YouTube screen right now. And uh, it was in this section right here on the left-hand side, output device and input device. Uh, of course, you're going to want to put whatever device it is that you're using and in my case, it's the USB link to the FT991, and uh, that had uh, the bottom the bottom section had changed to another uh, sound card. Actually, one of the ones coming out of my cameras here, so uh, I had to change that back. And of course, then it worked and logged in, and uh, and uh, everybody was happy. Uh, so there you go. This page I do have all these pages available, by the way, uh, on how to configure this stuff, and I can send them out with the uh, email that will have everybody's login, uh, who all logged in tonight. So you'll be able to go through here and use these examples to be able to set up uh, your own system. Once again, you're going to need either an onboard sound card on your radio, uh, like the FT991 and others have, or you're going to want to make sure that uh, you have a signal link USB or a rig blaster uh, unit uh, of some sort. But these instructions make it real easy. And uh, it does work, and it works very well. As a matter of fact, I thought about setting up a Skyhub Link emailer uh, on uh, on WinLink uh, just for uh, uh, for being able to uh, to have some fun with that. Uh, this is KE0VH with the Skyhub Link Monday Night System Wide Net. I'm going to reset here, and then I'm going to go back through the check-in list. We'll go ahead and buzz down. We've got like uh, 41 uh, check-ins there, and I'll see if any of you want to say anything. Uh, we'll go back to the top of the list and start with Daryl, W3ORR. Let me reset. This is KE0VH. Everybody stand by, please. Okay, we'll go ahead and key up here. Daryl, W3ORR, do you have any comments for the net if you're still in range? Daryl, go ahead. Okay, Daryl, you were a little rough on the digital side there, but I switched to the analog repeater and copied you just fine. Be safe out there, man. Drive carefully and, uh, you know, keep in touch as you go. Let me talk to my good friend Mike in Montrose, KE0, Victor Bravo, Quebec. Mike, are you there? Any comments for the net tonight? Welcome. All right, Mike must have had to uh, drop out there. Let's uh, talk to Jeremiah, KF0KIG, Kilo India Golf. Jeremiah in Williston, North Dakota. Are you there? Okay, we'll go ahead and buzz down through the list here. Uh, be sure to check the remarks column. A couple are listening. Uh, yes, I sure will, Kat. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. November Bravo 9 Delta, Neil in Bedford, New Hampshire. Any comments for the net tonight from K0VH? Okay, K0UZ, Ken down in Castle Rock. Ken, I bet you're there. Ken, good evening. Welcome to the net. Any comments? Uh, over to you. Yes. K0UZ. Uh, no comments other than the fact I'm really glad to see WinLink project. Certainly something to look into. Or to checking that out back to next goal. Okay, zero use it. K 
Ken, thank you very much. And uh, Ken, of course, is uh, one of our alternate Monday night net controls, along with Bucky, uh, W0SUN. And guys, if you're look, if you're watching on YouTube, might want to listen to the radio for me to call on you here because there is uh, there is some latency there. Uh, it's not right on time. Burnus, how you doing, my friend? KI0AR. Burnus is going to be part of the crew this Saturday to go down and hook up Internet uh, for uh, the Abaculite Mesa site. We're losing the Internet that's there now. We're going to put some new Internet up. Uh, and sure appreciate uh, all you do, Burnus, for the uh, astronomy net here on Sky of Link. Been around for, uh, what, 34 years or so. Burnus, good evening. Uh, what you got for uh, the Monday night net tonight? Uh, good evening. Uh, not much. I don't know if I have a radio that'll keep that, but uh, definitely interesting. Uh, not quite 34 years. Uh, 27. Got seven more years to hit that. Uh, but uh, yeah, looking forward to this weekend too, Jack. Uh, appreciate uh, appreciate the opportunity to help out. This is KI Zero AR back to that. Yeah, okay, Bernice, very good. And by the way, Skyler is looking forward to uh, to seeing you as well there. So uh, uh, he's uh, he's kind of excited about the time we'll be able to uh, spend riding uh, riding on down to uh, Pueblo there. All right, thanks, Bernice. Talk to you later. Look for you tomorrow night here. Uh, Jeremiah in Littleton, KK0 Tango X-Ray. Do you have any comments for the net tonight? All right, then, since we got so many, I'm going to go ahead and buzz through there. Uh, if uh, you guys don't uh, don't want to comment, that's all right. Uh, no worries. Glad to have you listening or watching in on YouTube there. Uh, let's see. Kilo Echo A, Tango Lima Golf, James in Broadview Heights, Ohio. It's your turn. Good evening. Welcome to the net. Hey, well, good evening, Jack, and everybody on the net. This is KATLG. Man, what a turnout you got going here. One heck of a fan club you got uh, for a following. Good stuff. Uh, I have not used WinLink, and uh, just listening in here, uh, I, I was not watching it on YouTube as I was uh, kind of halfway in attention to it. So, but uh, yeah, that is something I plan on doing in the in the future here with the 991A. So, we'll uh, yeah, yeah, see what happens. Let you know. Other than that, uh, it's Monday. Everybody have a great work week. And this is KDATLG back to KEOVH. Jack, there at Net Control 7 3. All right, sir. Well, thanks for being here tonight. KEATLG, James in Broadview Heights, Ohio. All right, uh, Graham in uh, Glasgow, uh, Scotland there. Uh, Mike, Mike, one Delta Echo Alpha. Thanks for being here tonight. If you're still listening, let's talk to Stuart up in Chicago. Kilo Delta 9, Golf Hotel Oscar. Any comments for the net tonight, Stu? Welcome to the Sky of Link Monday Night System Wide Net. This is Kate Zero VH. Okay, and Cass says she's got a problem with net longer, so she's going to reboot. Hopefully mine will stay up here, and I'll keep uh, rolling through the list. Uh, Stuart, sorry uh, you didn't uh, get to hang in there, but we'll talk to you next time. Tom, down in Salina, Texas, do you have any more comments for the net tonight? You are officially next on the list. Uh, K5TPK from K0VH. This is K5TPK. Uh, the only thing I would I would add, Jack, is that uh, if anybody has any insight into getting VARA, VARA FM, work with the 991A on Windows, uh, I would be most grateful if they could post it somewhere where or mail or whatever because uh, I'm pulling my hair out. Anyway, thanks for the net. Wonderful job. Uh, K5TPK.
Okay, Tom, uh, do me a favor. Uh, send me an email, ku0vh at outlook.com, or you could go ahead and send to the winlink.org with exactly what it is you're talking about, and then I'll be glad to send it out to the net email list, and we'll see maybe if uh, there's somebody even uh, not connected in tonight that uh, could possibly answer that for you. So, uh, Tom, thank you. Uh, let's go to Robert in McDonough, Georgia. How, how about that? Kilo November 4, Foxtrot Romeo Kilo. Uh, Robert, good evening. It's your turn. Uh, any comments for the Monday Night Net tonight from KU Zero VH? Comment. Um, hey, good evening, guys. This is uh, KN Four FRK Bobby. Yep, in McDonough, uh, McDonough, Georgia, just south of Atlanta. Um, I'm glad you're going through the wing link stuff right now. So I'm trying to keep, you know, trying to write some notes. I do have a Yay FT Eight Ninety One. That I have been trying to get Vera, the Vera modem working. I pulled enough hair for about a week, so I had to take a break and just walk away a little bit, right? But uh, I'm, it, it, you know, I I've tested it out. It only connected one time, and I updated my uh, radio, the firmware. Everything works except for that Vera link and Win link. Uh, but anyways, hey, I appreciate you doing what you're doing. Um, I kind of enjoy um, watching and listening to the comments and to your videos as well. So I'll send it back to you, Jack. This is on November 4, Fox Start Rolling. Robert, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate you being here tonight. And uh, let me go ahead and go back to Dan. Uh, yeah, Robert, let us know if you figure that out. You know, once again, I also want to say there's an awful lot of YouTube videos on this stuff. Don't bang the mic where you had, Jack. Um, there's an awful lot of YouTube videos uh, on this stuff available as well. So, um, uh, as always, a good resource there. Uh, M1 UKJ, Dan, go ahead with a quick comment. Then we'll go to Randall, 87 RJ. Dan, go ahead from k 0 vh N1UKJ, I apologize for the interruption, but I posted a link on the AIM, uh, on the net logger, on the AIM window. Uh, there's a YouTube video on how to set up a 991 Alpha for WinLink. Back to net control. Okay, Dan, yeah, you know, uh, that's what helped me uh, set mine up. So, uh, once again, uh, if you just put in YouTube, uh, FT991A, win link setup, probably going to be able to find that pretty quick. I actually meant to have that as one of my uh, one of my windows, and I may go ahead and try to uh, pull that up here in just a moment. So, uh, we'll give that a shot. Uh, thank you so much, Dan. All right, next uh, is Randall, AE7RJ. Of course, Randall runs the... Uh, AE7RJ repeater up there in Newman Lake, Spokane, Washington. Ra uh, Randall, good evening. Welcome to the net. Uh, good to hear you tonight, my friend. Uh, what say you? Uh, Kate Zero VH. Evening, Jack. I have no comments this evening. AE7RJ. Okay, well, then there you go. Uh, well said, well said, Randall. Uh, good to hear you, Randall. Of course, also uh, uh, does our uh, Society of Broadcast Engineers net the last Thursday of the month here on the Skyhub link. All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue uh, on down the line here, and I'm going to try to uh, to look that uh, up for you. Marvin in St. Charles, Missouri. Alpha Echo Zero, November Oscar. Are you there, Marvin? Good evening, and welcome to the net. Zero VH, this is A zero N O. How do I how do you copy? Uh you are wall to wall and treetop tall. Uh solid copy, no worries. Go ahead. Okay. Well I've been monitoring the the net. Uh at first I was watching it on YouTube, but uh had a contractor in here today that ripped everything out of a bathroom. And I'm in there in the dark with a small flashlight trying to uh, reconnect my station ground to the hot, to the cold water pipe temporarily. 
Uh, he might, he's going to pull some cables tomorrow. He might even improve my grounding. Uh, hopefully he can uh, pull something down into the basement and uh, hook me up that way rather than just to the water pipe. But in any event, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people are interested in Winlink and Vera and so forth. Uh, on Facebook, there's, there's a 991 and 991A users group. Uh, you might want to see if you can find that. And uh wouldn't surprise me if there's a Winlink group. There are so many groups out there for individual videos and ham radio and uh, Mac users and yada, yada, yada. A long list. But uh, as you said, there's a lot of videos. And uh, sometimes these groups have files at the top of their uh, uh, group heading uh, with information like this. So that's my contribution. This is AE0NO in St. Charles, Missouri. Back to you. Okay, very good. AE0NO from KE0VH. Uh, Marvin, thank you. And uh, those of you watching on YouTube right now, you'll notice that uh, I put Setup FT991A WinLink in uh, the YouTube um, search bar there. And there's actually several. Uh, that have popped up on the right hand of the screen. Uh, so, uh, yeah, if you look uh, look it up, uh, this uh, gentleman is showing you how to set up and demo WinLink Vara, uh, V-A-R-A-H-F. I really don't know what any of this is. This is a, a little bit out of my uh, realm and territory scope here. So, uh, anyway, uh, those of you who might want to look that up, and I'll look it up later and uh, take a look at it and see what it's all about. So, very, very good. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I tell you, that's uh, one of the things we really want to do with Skyhub Link is be able to disseminate a lot of information that will help people. So uh, let's go now to AE0 November Bravo, Randy in Aurora, Colorado, AE0NB. Good evening, Randy. Uh, your turn here on the Monday Night Net. Go ahead. Uh, Randy, very interesting that you should bring that up. Um, I actually am going to shoot a little video sometime on how to send um, uh, essentially text messages over the FTM 9, uh, 400. I do that out uh, in the 400 in my truck, and it will translate to people's cell phones, and they can text you back. It's pretty cool. So uh, that will be something else we'll uh, do here uh, on a uh, video presentation sometime uh, for the Monday Night Net. So uh, thank you very much, Randy. Robert down in Kellyville Ridge, New South Wales. If you're there, VK2DY. Uh, happy Tuesday late morning to you uh, there, Robert. Are you there? Any comments for the net tonight from K0VH? Zero H V K two D Y Robert and then uh question Sydney good uh afternoon. Yeah, it's about one fifty two uh uh PM uh Tuesday afternoon here. I guess next week you guys will be shifting the nets an hour earlier because of daylight saving time, so uh I have to remember now that you start uh, at eleven instead of noon. So I have to remember that now. Anyway, uh that aside uh, it is uh, a nice warm uh, autumn day here, 35 Celsius, uh, 95 Fahrenheit, uh, and sunny. So uh, we're getting some warmth in the autumn here. Uh, well, I know, you know, speaking about WinLink, I was an active member of um, WISEN, which is uh, an organization of amateur radio operators who work with uh, the Volunteer Rescue Association. Uh, sort of kind of like you, you guys, uh, what do you call them, Aries or whatever you call them. Um, and uh, they were really getting into uh, WinLink when I left. And the information I get back is that they're really heavily uh, uh, promoting WinLink as a uh, 
as a communications tool uh, that they use as part of uh, the VRA. So, um, yeah, WinLink is, uh, is is a very important part of uh, communications. Uh, VK2DY, back to net. Okay, Robert, very good. Well, thank you. Uh, good stuff there. I appreciate uh, you telling us about that. And, uh, you know, you, you guys have uh, had a lot of fun down there, down under, and uh, really appreciate uh, you being here every week, Robert. Thank you so much. Uh, it's, uh, it's great to have you here. This is the Monday Night Sky Hub Link System Wide Net. This is Jack Kayser of EH, uh, your uh, net control here in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, from the underground bunker, I like to call it, down here in the basement of the house. And uh, <laughs> uh, have fun with the uh, Monday Night Net here on Sky Hub Link. Uh, we've got some other great nets, too. Be sure to check them out on the Nets page. If you're watching on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. All you that are watching right now, just take your mouse over there and click on it. I'd appreciate it. Gary, uh, down in Pueblo, it's your turn, NC2WX from K0VH. Gary, any comments for the net tonight? And uh, sure appreciate all you're doing down there to help us uh, keep communicating. Gary, go ahead. Thank you, Jack, NC2WX. Good evening to you and everyone around the world tonight on the net. Um, yeah, so thank you for doing this topic tonight. Uh, I was a wind linker I, uh, long ago, and uh, so you got me fired up to fire the wind link back up here sometime in the near future. So, but anyway, great net tonight, Jack. Thanks, as always. You, WX, back to your VH. Okay, Gary, thanks, man, as always, and thanks for all that you and Brian and Kat and everybody do um, on the uh, Skyhub Link uh, daily weather net there at 1 o'clock Mountain Time. Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow, my friend. Get some rest. Alan in Cedar Falls, Iowa, KG4GAV, you are next. If you'd like to uh, go ahead and make some comments there, Alan, good evening from K0VH. Okay, I guess Alan uh, couldn't hang around there, KU0TPW. Joe down in the Springs. Joe uh, has uh, been so helpful. I uh, went up to uh, help us do a reset on the uh, Sky Hub Link uh, Colorado Springs repeater the other day. And uh, Joe, appreciate you down there. What you got for the net tonight? KU0TPW from KU0VH. Well, good evening, Jack. As always, uh... I don't know much about women. I think. Check it out. Play with that, you got a lot of people to talk to. Girl, be agey. Yeah, okay, Joe, thanks for being here, K0TPW. As always, sure uh, appreciate everything that uh, you do and your uh, input there, Joe. Sure appreciate it. Let's see. All right, let's go to a Fred in Pueblo, W0ZZS. You're next on the net tonight, Fred. Go ahead. Welcome. All right, I guess Fred couldn't hang it around. Let's uh, talk to uh, Anthony, Tony in Colorado Springs, K1LJY. It's your turn. Welcome to the net. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and zip down through the list here. ZL2, Bravo Echo Zulu, Paul in Wellington down in New Zealand. Uh, Paul, good evening. Uh, any comments for the net tonight? Yes, uh, good evening, Jack. Uh, ZL2BZ right here. Yes, uh, thank you very much for uh, 
demonstrating that whenever you try to do live demonstrations, there will always be issues. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Demon 3. Yeah, it's uh, it's really funny, Paul. I tried to do a model rocket demonstration when I was in junior high school, and of course, all the batteries died to try to shoot the rockets off. <laughs> uh, it was terrible. Uh, uh, yeah, and some friends never let me forget that either. Uh, okay, very good. Uh, KF Zero JTT. I did see that. Um, uh, you know the the West the West Co is uh, not connected. Uh, so they were not going to be able to respond. I got it. I'll, uh, uh, we're going to have those reconnected soon. Uh, once again, the uh, West Coast system out there that our good friend Carrie into K and K runs, it has not been able to be on the air a lot on Skyhip Link recently because uh, of the super cloudy, snowy, cold winter weather we've had, and uh, a couple of the repeaters literally uh, the the batteries have just about died out. So. There's been problems over there, but uh, never fear. We've got something in the works to get that fixed to where they can be back with us full time. KE0 QJP, uh, Quebec, Juliet, Papa, Chuck, and Thornton. Chuck, good evening. It's your turn here on the Sky of Link Monday Night System Wide Net. Go ahead, Chuck from KE0 VH. Hello, Chuck. Yeah, hey, PM 100. I couldn't figure it out, so HRO helped me out, and so I hope it's working. Uh, I have Winlink installed, but I, I've never used it, so um, I'll have to look into it. I'll have to get a the South Car thing or something, but uh, I appreciate all your training, and back to you. Chuck, thank you so much. Uh, we're glad to be, be here, and uh, we're going to keep trying to do things like that. Like I've said before, uh, part of Skyhub Link's main mission is to bring people together to help them learn new things and have a good time with ham radio. That's what it's all about. Chuck, thank you so much. Our good friend Brian, K6SKI, down in Fair Play. Brian, it's your turn if you're still in there. Uh, any comments for the Skyhub Link Monday night system-wide net tonight? Brian, go ahead. Welcome from k 0 vh Hey, good evening, Jack, and everybody out there on the net tonight. Um, not a lot to offer. I do have WinLink, WinLink installed on my computer. I haven't gotten it to work with the radio yet, but this kind of uh, will motivate me to give it another try. I have worked with another program that works over HF, which lets you message with people and send text uh, back and forth via an interface. And it's similar to uh, FT8, and it's called GS8 Call. And it's I got that working really easy and um, made a lot of contacts with people and just chatted. But if you can set it up so that you have a friend and you have their call sign plugged into the program, you can send them messages, and then they can receive those messages next time they pull up the program and so forth. But other than that, that's about it, and um, pretty cool. I'm going to give it another shot there with the wind link, and uh, I'm going to throw it back to you. This is K6SKI, passing it back to K0VH. Yeah, okay, Brian, very good, very good. Yeah, uh, let me know how that goes. Uh, and, and like I said earlier, I want to try to play with the uh, the HF uh, wind link stuff too and some of these other things. I mean, I've learned a couple of things here. Uh, just listening uh, to some of our comments. Uh, Brian, thanks for being here. Austin in Gladwin, Michigan, are you there? Kilo Zero, Alpha, X-Ray, Lima. This is K0VH. Welcome to the net. Okay, by the way, I will remind everybody that uh, we are, of course, on NetLogger, as you can see on the YouTube screen, and you can download NetLogger, download NetLogger. Oh, I get my tang untangled here. I used to be a professional pronunciator. Uh, but uh, you can download NetLogger and follow along and see where we are, and this is good for uh, all kinds of of nets uh, around the world, for that matter. So uh, some really cool stuff there. We do have a link on the Nets page at skyoflink.com. You can check that out when you can. 
Uh, let's see. So uh, let's see if Evans is in, in Lakewood. There we go. Evans, KF0, Foxtrot, Papa, India. Good evening. It's your turn. Welcome to the net. Yeah, this is KF0 FBI. Um, <clears throat> Jack, I'm just listening and um, sitting here like a sponge on all these, trying to absorb all this information and data and doing the best I can do. Um, back to the net, and thanks, Jack. Okay. No worries at all. We're glad to be here. Uh, look for you again next time, Evans. Thanks for being here. Okay, WACSX is listening only. I see. Okay, Kat, thank you very much. K0SMR, Eric in Colorado Springs. Looks like we have had a ton of people checking in via the uh, almost instant message uh, window there tonight. So uh, <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Uh, K0SMR, Eric in Colorado Springs. Good evening. Welcome to the net. All right, we'll go ahead and go down the list there. Uh, Ivan in Fort Collins, W1VAN. Ivan, I haven't talked to you in a long time. Good evening. Welcome to the net. You got any comments for us tonight? Okay, I realize that uh, some of you may be getting delayed by the latency on YouTube. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. Might want to monitor the radio uh, as well when we get uh, uh, to the uh, check-in and roundtable time. Uh, Ray, uh, let's see, Ray is Victor Alpha 3, Tango India Papa. Ray, good evening. Any uh, comments for the net tonight? This is k 0 vh Uh, yeah, Roger. This is uh, Ray, Victor Alpha 3, Tango India Papa, and, and um, I'm located in uh, Canada, in the Toronto area, and um, yeah, I uh, was listening, it's interesting, about the uh, win late. Um, maybe I'll try it sometime. I'm still pretty new to this, I'm only in my, I don't know, first month or so of doing this, but uh, it's kind of neat. I can see... It would be good. To, it kind of makes sense for emergency communication um, besides hobbies. It uh, seems kind of true to the idea of the original idea of the Internet, being able to transmit messages like that by, you know, bouncing them around, whatever's, uh, whatever's working. If anyone remembers <laughs> where the Internet came from, from DARPAnet and stuff. That was kind of the concept of it. So uh, pretty cool stuff. And... Um, Yep, it's always nice to be here and listen in, and uh, yeah, thanks all for doing this. Uh, yep, 73 for now, over. All right, Ray, thanks for being here tonight, and uh, I notice in the um, in the um, uh, the window over there, the YouTube uh, chat window, it says, look like there's a Radio Oddity DMR charger in the background. Um, it's not a radio oddity. It's the one that came with my, uh, uh, my, uh, TFT or my YT. A little different. Uh, it's a, a TYT MD80. So that's the charger uh, for this. And yes, cat, uh, I have a DMR radio. I am on it extremely rarely. <laughs> I use it basically to monitor, to make sure that the DMR repeater is, in uh, Denver here is uh, working. So uh, there you go. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I see some other things going on there, but we'll go ahead and go down the uh, main list here. Let's see. Sean in Winter Park, Florida, November 2, APE, Alpha Papa Echo. Uh, either that or you're the big ape, W-A-P-E, Jacksonville. Uh, well, there used to be a top 40 station there. Uh, but N2, APE, Sean, Winter Park, Florida. Welcome to the Sky of Link Monday Night System Wide Net. You're on next. Go ahead. Uh, 
iOS, iPhone, iPhone, Apple, one of the popular, and it's cheese, Iowa, Pokey Park, gotcha. Audio. Okay. Hey, all right. Thank you. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was looking that up uh, as uh, you were speaking about it there, Sean. I'll have to investigate that one, too. Uh, you know, there's so many things you can do with amateur radio. There's something for everybody, whether it be satellites, whether it be CW Morse code anymore, and then everything in between. There's just so much that you can do with amateur radio to keep in touch and communicate and experiment and uh, have fun, isn't it? Uh, Sean, thanks. New piece of information. Charles in Denver, WD0CIV. Charles, you're next. Good evening. Welcome to the uh, net tonight. What you got? All righty, this is WD Zero CIV, uh, Charles and Denver. Anyway, uh, I was playing with the wind lake a long, long time ago, and then uh, didn't uh, didn't have nothing for years and years. So anyway, uh, since you guys are using it, I thought maybe I better get back into it and try to hook it up. And now that I hear that you smart phone as it were. Uh, I want to look into that also. Anyway, uh, thanks for the net, Jack, and we'll go ahead and turn it back to net control and take it over. Yeah, okay, Charles. Thank you very much, WD0CIV. Yep. <laughs> you know, it's going to whet everybody's appetite for something new probably here and uh, experiment some more and uh, definitely going to keep us busy. Dennis in Naples, Florida, wa 2 F. HX, welcome to the Sky Blink Monday Night System Wide Net. Uh, what you got for us here, Dennis from Florida, K0VH? Go ahead. K0VH, WA2FHX. Um, thanks, Jack. Thanks for running this night. It's it's great, very interesting. I don't use uh, Wingling. Um, I may. I use so many other modes. Uh, I may try it one day. But uh, very interesting that you had a lot of check-ins. And uh, thanks for using NetLogger. Uh, great little tool. Uh, anyway, um, I don't have anything to add. I just want to say thanks for running the net. And uh, back to uh, Net Control. Okay, very good. Well, thanks for being here tonight. By the way, those of you watching on YouTube, you'll notice I'm changing the screens from time to time. This is our digital YSF link system that links WiresX with the rest of Skyhub Link. You can see this at k0vh.skyhublink.com or go to the status page at skyhublink.com and pull down to the YSF link uh, connection there, and you can click on that and uh, check out some of the other Things that are happening here on Skyhub Link. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, pick up, uh, let's see. We talked to Dan. Chris, are you there? KK6QCP down in, uh, actually, he's um, down just east of uh, Colorado Springs there. Uh, Chris, uh, KK6QCP, are you there from K0VH? Okay, I think uh, maybe Chris was watching on YouTube there and didn't come in by radio. Uh, Steve in Leavenworth, Kansas, uh, you've been a regular here uh, lately. 
Uh, I missed Raymond. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back to Raymond in Minnetonka, Wisconsin. KB9 CBO. Uh, Raymond, I'm so sorry. Uh, jumped right over you there. I apologize. And then we'll go to N0CZN. Uh, KB9 CBL, go ahead. Welcome, Ray. <coughs> oh, sorry, YouTube. <laughs> Okay, we've lost uh, something in the link here. Not getting any audio from you. Interesting. Okay. All right, everybody stand by one. I don't see any issues in the system, so maybe it's with his audio. Let's see what happens. Well, for those of you watching on YouTube, it looks like he's keying up the system, but uh, we are not hearing any audio on it until he drops his carrier. Okay, there his carrier went. Uh, Ray, we did not hear you on the radio at all. Uh, did not hear you on the radio there at all. Uh, you wanted to come back for about five seconds there, and let's see uh, let's see if we can pick you back up. Uh, let's, uh, let's try that uh, one more time. Uh, Ray, KB9CBL, you want to give me an audio check there from K0VH? Yeah, okay, Ray, I am not getting any audio from you for some reason. We'll have to uh, try to check that out. Maybe we can help you with it a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and go on down the list uh, to uh, Steve in Leavenworth, Kansas. November 0, Zulu, Zulu, November. Steve, good evening. Welcome to the net. You got any comments for the net tonight? Good evening, Jack, and everyone else. Uh, I wasn't getting any audio for that last station either, either through Echo Link or on PyStar, just FYI. Uh, I don't have anything I prefer to add. I just want to let you know that uh, your net is fascinatingly interesting, and I always learn something new. And even if I see things on here that uh, I don't think I will use, I go ahead and put them on my list of things to try to make work just to see if I can do it. That's about it from uh, the first city in Kansas. And zero ZZN back to net control. Yeah, okay, Stephen. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, that's what I hope that we'll be able to do with this is, uh, you know, have some interesting and fun things to talk about. One of these evenings we're going to play, um, um, you know, it's a variation of the initials game. We'll do that again uh, where I give you initials of somebody and give uh, hints as to their history and whatnot, and you try to guess who it is. But uh, another thing that I've thought about that we can do with uh, the setup that I have here now is take voice clips from people and play them and have people guess who they are. <laughs> uh, that's going to take a little prep work on my part, but I've thought about that. You're listening and watching maybe on YouTube, the Skyhub Link Monday night system-wide net from the skyhublink.com repeater linking system. We're about... Uh, Oh, seven minutes or so from 449-450, leaving us locally here in Denver uh, so that the Rocky Mountain Radio League, our good friends there, can have their club net on 449-450 and 146-94 locally here in Denver. So we'll just keep on going down the list here. Uh, we've got had 47 check-ins. We're on number 42. Steve in Westminster. Steven in uh, Westminster, Colorado here. KF0LRH, do you have any comments for the net this evening? Uh, it's your turn. This is Kate Zero VH.
All right, then. I guess Stephen couldn't hang around with us. Let's go to Ben in Danville, Illinois. November 9, November Victor Uniform. Dan, good evening. Welcome to the uh, Monday Night Net here on the Skyhub link. What you got for us? All right, then, we'll go down to Quentin in Houston, Texas. November 0, Golf India Yankee. Uh, I see that you're listening on YouTube. Are you on the radio, perchance, as well? Uh, in 0 GIY from KE0VH. Hello there. This is Quentin in 0 GIY in Houston. And I've done a whole bunch of reading on twin link. Let me reset, make sure I have it. Stand by. Yeah, you've got it. Go ahead. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> I was letting our local repeater ID been uh, trying really hard to get those a little more scope deep south. So, yeah, I've been really interested in, in Winlink. I really find it interesting how it can be used uh, for redundancy if you don't have an internet connection. But I've never actually used this. So, uh, apologies if I misunderstand, but uh, I thought that's what the topic was. And, uh, yeah, first time hearing this event, I don't know if it's on our local South Coast Reflector, but uh, this is my first time hearing it, but I subscribe to your YouTube channel. Uh, you've got a very nice face, a very, very clean, cool setup. I like your microphone and uh, just everything you've got going on. I look forward to watching more and learning more. This is N0GIY. Back to you. Yeah, in zero GIY from K zero VH. Well, well, I'll tell you, your check's in the mail. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's uh, uh, very kind indeed. And uh, yeah, been uh, uh, been a radio broadcasting, uh, uh, both disc jockey and engineer for a lot of years. So uh, uh, I've taken a while to accumulate this uh, uh, this uh, mess in the corner. Uh, I'll I'll have to give everybody a full tour of it. I've done that before in the past, but uh, we'll uh, we'll have to go through a tour of it i literally am in about 50 square feet in a corner of the basement and that's where all the uh networking and all the computer stuff comes together and the ham radio stuff and uh the flight simulator stuff uh those of you watching on youtube can uh see my uh, flight sim gear here uh, just uh just uh, slightly uh, to my right and behind me as i'm facing the uh, the camera there it's uh it's it's pretty cool it's a lot of fun i definitely keep myself entertained and uh Love to use it uh, for good purposes like this. So, Quentin, thank you for the kind words. Shane in Westminster, KE0TJR, you are next. And, uh, by the way, uh, Quentin, yeah, uh, check out our webpage, skyhublink.com. Skyhublink.com, that'll tell you everything we're all about there. Uh, Shane in Westminster, KE0TJR, you are next. Good evening. Welcome to the net. Okay, I guess Shane couldn't hold on there. KA9WDX. Uh, Bernard in Medford, Wisconsin. KA9WDX. Good evening. Welcome to the Sky of Link Monday Night System Wide Net. KA9WDX. Uh, I was reaching over here. The YouTube channel there. <laughs> so I'm going to be hearing myself and get distracted and all that. And just thought uh, I'd say that I never really got interested in Winlink. I knew about it for a number of years, but uh, I didn't really got uh, had too much at it. Uh, I did still get interested in this other thing they got in Wisconsin. Kind of curious if Colorado too or not. They, they call it. Anyway, A R E G N or something like that. I missed the radio emergency data uh, network. Um, uh, Wisconsin Mesh uh, Facebook, where you take uh, your Wi Fi routers um, and 
fashion uh, with the communication software. <laughs> I thought, nah, around here there's not enough people. I probably couldn't reach the nearest one. Uh, maybe if I was living 45 miles southeast of here, like uh, Wasso, Wisconsin, well, I need to get a mesh, net mesh network set up there. Larger towns and cities have it, but not around why they work on Wi Fi. So then I did get a little bit interested in it. I actually had one of those uh, uh, routers and I had purchased seven DDI game and uh, <laughs> a lot longer than the original ones that came with the router, so I had a pretty good Wi Fi signal. <laughs> it would have been a mesh, but I'm too far away from the nearest one to have it work. I am a seven screen back to net, K zero V H K N I Wisconsin and uh I see the like a of Wisconsin. I uh, saw a story today I just thought of uh, I saw a story today in Monaco, Wisconsin. There's a lumberjack style restaurant uh, called uh uh <laughs> La Paul Bunyans and that's that they're not gonna be open for the fourth year in a row. K zero V H K N I W G X. Hey, okay, Bernard, thank you very much. Good to have you here tonight from up there in Wisconsin, and I uh, appreciate uh, you being with us, and uh, glad you could uh, watch on YouTube and talk on the radio there. Uh, all right, uh, let's see. W0SUN, AE0LE, you are next. Uh, Bucky, W0SUN, good evening. Welcome to the net. Bucky, uh, of course, is not only one of our Skyhub Link board members, but He's also kind of our wires X and digital guru. Don't forget to Bucky uh, W0SUN and Doug uh, K0DC have the Wednesday night Sky Hub Link uh, digital learning net. So be sure to check that out. Seven o'clock mountain time on uh, Wednesday evening. Bucky, go ahead. Any comments for the net tonight? Glad you're here from K0VH. Yeah, right. Thanks, Jack. Uh, this is W0SUN, and uh, I was just cracking up. Uh, Kat made me really uh, laugh in the uh, chat room, so it took me a second before I got up back on the mic. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, um, WinLink, um, you know, um, that's on my list of things to get into and start learning. Um, WinLink is amazing. Uh, it's been around for a long, long time. Um, works on HF and VHF, UHF. Um, man, just a great system. If uh, especially used in emergency communications. Um, I've been part of Aries and used it, but I haven't really got to know it really well. So, um, yeah, I think uh, definitely on my list. And um, I really enjoy uh, Skyhublink, uh, Monday Night Net, uh, especially the, you know, I love doing the Wednesday Night Net. Come and join us sometime. Oh, by the way, just a side note really quick. I was able to tour WWV in Fort Collins last Friday. I just wanted to put that out there. That is so cool. Anyway, uh, back over to Win back to WinLink. Uh, definitely get to know it and use it if you get a chance. Um, this is W0SUN. Back to net control. Thanks, Jack. Okay, Bucky. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Thanks for being here tonight. And uh, <laughs> while I while I'm sitting here uh, manipulating all the screens and everything, I don't really have too much of a chance to uh, catch up on the uh, chat window. There, I should try to maybe make another screen and put it in here. Bucky, thanks. All right, let's go up to my friend Jr. and Ray uh, Alpha Echo Zero Lima Echo. Ray, good evening. Welcome to the uh, Monday Night Net. What's going on up there in your neck of the woods? Well, Jack, uh, uh, enjoying the net. Uh, I have very limited internet, so I hope I'm getting in uh, into the system. Um, yeah, uh, WinLink is uh, is a great tool. I've used it for quite some time and uh, I've enjoyed it. Uh, uh, its benefits quite a bit. Anyway, uh, yeah, it, it, it's very fun listening to the, to the net. Don't have much else to say, uh, so we'll send it back. E zero V eight to say E zero L E, and we'll send it back. 
Okay, JR. Very good, buddy. Thanks for being here tonight. Uh, this is KZ0VH. That's at the, uh, the end of the check-in list, 48 check-ins there. But let's go ahead and take another round of check-ins. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do a roundtable, but if you're listening by radio and if you've not had a chance to check in yet, I'd like to go ahead and give you the opportunity. So uh, let's get you checked in right now. If you're listening on radio and you haven't had a chance to, Uh, Let's go ahead and add you in there. Your call sign and only your call sign phonetically twice to check in. And uh, go ahead. I'm listening. K0VH. Whiskey Zero, Zulu, Zulu, Sierra, and W0ZZ Sugar. Bravo 4, Golf Bravo India. Whiskey Bravo 4, Golf Bravo India Mobile. Elo Alpha 2, Echo Echo Uniform. Elo Alpha 2, Echo Echo Uniform. Elo Charlie 3, Papa Oscar Delta. Elo Charlie 3, Papa Oscar Delta. All right, then. Uh, let's see. It looks like uh, Kat took a couple of more via the AIM window, and I heard uh, Tim in Knoxville, WB4GBI. Tim, thanks for uh, checking in tonight. Uh, Scott, uh, Kilo Alpha 2, Echo Echo Uniform in Spring, Texas. Uh, KC4ZYC, uh, Howard in Beloit, Wisconsin. Uh, I also heard Kat, Kilo Charlie 3, Papa Oscar Delta. If you would put uh, Kilo Charlie 3, Papa Oscar Delta in position number 53 there, and we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, There's some things I want to refine about the check-in process uh, to get more of you uh, from radio, because I think we got a ton of people uh, through the chat windows and everything, and I'd really like to get uh, uh, all of you via radio and uh, not exclude you, because this is a radio net. We do the YouTube thing kind of for fun and for some helpful education, but this is predominantly a radio net on the skyhublink.com repeater linking system. So with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Fred's W0ZZS. Did I not say him? Oh, yeah. I accidentally had W0ZZS uh, covered up on my sheet of paper I wrote there. Fred, sorry about that. Uh, But uh, anyway, 53 check-ins tonight. I really appreciate that and everybody who participated Let's see. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll get the final uh, YouTube numbers later, but 37 are watching uh, right now. I really appreciate that. If you have not smashed that thumbs up button, please do so uh, before uh, before you leave tonight. I'd appreciate that. But with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the net. We usually do by 8.30 Mountain Time. Uh, we might have to start, uh, <laughs> start making that go uh, a little bit more, but we'll see. Mondays are always... Uh, Kind of a long day. I've had a busy work day. I'm ready to be done for the night. So uh, anyway, I want to thank all of you for participating and for being here both on YouTube and on the radio. This has been the Skyhub Link Monday Night System Wide Net. Thanks again to Skyler, W0SKY, our chief engineer. And uh, thanks uh, to, uh, uh, of course, uh, Jeremy, W0JRL, our system engineer. They keep the majority of the main Skyhub Link main hub system working. Uh, Bill, Bucky Buckwalter, W0SUN, our Wires X engineer, thanks to the Rocky Mountain Radio League, the Denver Water Amateur Radio Club, the Denver Radio League, the N2K and K West Coast Repeater Linking System, Mark, N0XRX, Randall, AE7RJ, Richard, VE5RH, the Pueblo Amateur Radio Club. They've got a lot of good stuff coming up for us here soon. And all the other systems and operators on the Sky of Link. Many, many thanks to Cat. W0KPH for spotting and logging. If you'd like to be on the email list, be sure to go to the skyhublink.com webpage. Click on the Join Connect tab for instructions. You can see my webpage, www.ke0vh.com. Scroll down the page for information on the net, the Skyhub link, and my newsletter, the KE0VH Ham Shack, which we're going to have more on uh, here soon. So with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up tonight's net and return all systems to normal amateur use. 73.
Live long and prosper. Good night. This is KE0VH73. Hey, you're